everyone. So today is going to be kind of a different video. I am working with a brand. They are called Way Up and I will talk about them a little bit later in the video. But for the most part, I kind of just wanted this to be a casual vlog discussing my thoughts on working in college, planning for internships, just things revolving around money and college and jobs and careers and all of that fun stuff. Because obviously it is on the top of most college students' minds. I guess for starters, I'll just talk about what I'm doing, what I'm studying in school, and just how I'm planning for internships and all of that. I have not done an internship yet, but it is something I am planning for in the near future. Ideally, I would like to do an internship, not this upcoming summer, but the summer after that. So summer of 2017 is what I'm shooting for. We'll see if that happens. But I also want to do study abroad that same year, so it's going to be a lot. <laughs> we'll get that figured out. But that goes with the having jobs in college, so I'll, I'll talk about all of that. <laughs> I'm a sophomore in university right now, and I'm studying apparel design, and I also want to get my minor in sustainability. So I'm trying to find companies that obviously share my same mindset. I've looked at a few. It's a little bit more difficult looking for sustainable apparel companies, um, looking for internships and all of that. Typically you have to find a company that you're interested in, go to their website, and sometimes they will say if they do internships. I know, for example, Crochet Kids is a really awesome brand. They're based in Costa Mesa, California. That is just an example of a company I know of that does do internships that is a sustainable apparel company. Otherwise, typically you might just have to contact someone through the company. So going to their about me, contact me page and reaching out to them that way. I've definitely had my fair share of companies that I have reached out to that have not replied. Maybe because I'm just a sophomore and a lot of them are looking for juniors or seniors who are looking for entry level positions, but that's typically what you do when you're looking for an internship at school. I know that I do have an advisor that I can go to who would help with that as well and you should definitely make use of that as early as you want. Just like a piece of advice, I think you should honestly start researching internships your freshman year of college. Just being realistic, if it's already after that point and you haven't even considered that yet, it's no big deal, but I just feel like the sooner the better. And that doesn't mean you have to be applying for those internships your freshman year, but you should probably be researching them, figuring out what you even want out of a career. I know that when I got to school, I had no idea what I wanted to do like specifically. I knew that I wanted to study fashion, but beyond that, I didn't know what I wanted to do. So kind of once you get that figured out, you know, for me it was figuring out that I wanted to focus in sustainability, or maybe you want to do more like product development, you want to design shoes or bags or something, or you want to be a stylist, you want to be a buyer, you want to be a technical designer and do like the tech packs and all of that for clothing or something. Or of course, if you want to do something that's not at all related to the apparel industry, just kind of getting that figured out um, is a good place to start. Although I know people who have gotten internships who kind of get a little bit of a taste of everything. Yeah, it's just about reaching out to those companies and figuring out what you want to do and what they can offer for you. And it's definitely not too early to get an internship your sophomore year. I know people who got internships right after their sophomore year and then they also did one after their junior year. There is someone who worked for IZOD in New York City that I know and she was a buyer for them. I well she was an she was a buying intern for them, I believe, and she really really enjoyed it. So, um it is possible. It is possible to do those things. However, internships are not cheap. Keep that in mind, of course, going into it. You can't go in with these lofty dreams of, I want to be in New York City, being a fashion intern somewhere, and just think that you're going to be able to afford it. I mean, that is great to all of you out there who can afford that, but Obviously it does not come that easy to everyone. Like I said, I wanna do study abroad too, and that is a priority for me. Um, it is something that I'm saving for right now, and it is something I'm going to be saving for this upcoming summer because I wanted to be one of those people who gets two internships in college, and with that I thought I would have an internship this upcoming summer. But you have to pay for your housing, of course, once you get your internship in whatever city you end up in. A lot of internships aren't paid. Some are, but unfortunately a lot are not. 
And then also you have to pay your school typically to do an internship. Um, you're paying those tuition dollars because you are getting credit hours probably from this internship that you're doing. Or maybe you're doing the internship just for your own experience in resume building, which is awesome. But if you are doing it for school credit, typically you're going to have to pay to do that. So it's a lot of saving up for and it's just a lot to keep in mind and it's a, it's just stuff that you should know earlier rather than later. Th that's just like some umbrella thoughts that I'm having right now that I kind of wanted to put out there on this channel just to document my whole journey through college and before the internship process just this is where I'm at right now and this is some stuff that I have learned that you guys might want to learn. For a while there it was kind of like a weekly activity for me to go out there and research companies. I haven't been doing that as much but I totally recommend doing that. Just go to companies that you're interested in, read job descriptions, like even buy a notebook or open a Word document and keep track of all of these, keep track of which ones are paid, what cities they're in. I've even gone as far as figuring out where I might live in those cities because I mean that is something you are going to have to do. With that, because I already gave some information about finding internships the old-fashioned way, you know, going to the websites of these individual retailers and figuring out if they offer internships or not, um, you know, having to contact them. There was a site that reached out to me, and obviously I haven't done sponsored videos on this channel in a long time, or like brand collaborations or anything. Um, I'm trying to just really stick to the ones that you guys might be interested in, and this is one that I wholeheartedly, honestly believe is probably up most of your guys' alley because it was definitely up mine just being someone in college who is looking for internships and looking for jobs in college as well trying to be able to make a little extra cash so you can afford to do internships so you can afford to do study abroad this is a site that you guys might be interested in and I have a little box here with some stuff because there's gonna be a giveaway a little bit later but they are called way up they have a website that I'm going to link down below <laughs> sorry I'm trying to get this hat on Wow, I've never worn a hat like this in my entire life. But, you know, there's a first for everything. So, yes, Way Up is the name of the company. They are a website. They have an app now, um, so you can get the app on your phone and all of that stuff. But it is just kind of like, oh, hello, <laughs> a catch-all application to internships and college jobs. I know a job that a lot of people have in college um, are brand ambassadors. So if you are someone who is interested in clothing, maybe you've seen these on your campus before. Um, I know that we used to have ASOS or ASOS whatever on our specific campus at Iowa State. There's so many others. There's a, there's literally a ton if you go to this site and just do this one application. It'll literally just notify you of all the stuff that you would be eligible for. It's a lot easier than going to a bunch of individual sites and applying. It's kind of like the common app you might have done when you were applying to colleges. You know, you just submit this thing once and you have applied for, you know, at that time several different colleges. You have now applied for several different jobs and people can see it and you can start getting hired. It is free to sign up, which I think is very important to mention. It is always free for students, so I think it, it would be a super, super easy thing that all of you who are in college right now should definitely do. Of course, you should do it in conjunction with doing your own research and reaching out to specific companies. But this also helps, it's just a way to make sure you are getting all ends of the career world and that you're not missing anything as far as like what you're applying to, as far as job opportunities you could have while you're in school. I will of course have a link down below where you can go to sign up for this website. Very, very straightforward, very easy. <laughs> there is also a giveaway and that giveaway is going to be the hashtag college box. I'll have more information in the description about how to sign up to receive this prize, but yeah, basically sign up for WayUp's website, which is going to help you out anyway. Like even if you don't win this giveaway, you're going to be receiving information about jobs, which is pretty cool. But also you could receive this cool goodie box. And I have one here just to show you guys as an example. One of my favorite things, and I've been wearing it a lot. There's a bracelet from um, Trend Tribe, which is one of the things you could be a rep for on campus. You get some pretty cool snacks, which are super, super crucial. Actually, a lot of really awesome snacks. You get things like gift cards. Sorry if things have shifted slightly at all, but I was just going through the box and I realized that these were pretty awesome gifts too that I just wanted to highlight. You get these socks and it's one of those where one pair purchased, one pair donated. So I thought that was pretty cool. The brand is Bombas, which I've never heard of personally, but that's pretty awesome. And then also one of these, which I have been wanting one of these 
forever. Um, sorry about this stupid light. I can't get rid of it. It's just a graphing paper notebook. And I've been really wanting one of these to take notes in because you can like do all of your indents more even and all that stuff. So I'm honestly going to be using this a lot next semester. And yeah, I just... <laughs> I just really wanted to highlight those two. T-shirt, way up t-shirt. Oh, I totally should have worn this for this video. Oh, it's gonna look really good with my turtleneck. <laughs> I thought this was pretty awesome. You get a reusable bag, so you're not producing as much waste when you're going shopping to get your groceries and stuff in college. Just a ton of awesome stuff that I totally want you guys to have. So yes, go down to the description and get that all sorted out. And yeah, like I said, this is kind of just an introduction video to internships on this channel. This is not the last video I'm going to do on this subject. It's also not the last video I'm probably gonna do about having jobs in college because as I said in my previous video, I wanna talk more about college because you guys are in college. Sorry, I had to fix that light. <laughs> a lot of you guys are in college too, and you are all wondering about this stuff as well. So yeah, this is just the start of a series, I suppose, on this channel. College videos, so leave questions down below about any questions. <laughs> you have. Sorry, that was a really poorly worded sentence. Yeah, that is basically that. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!